Welcome to Open Tierra. Today we're embarking on a journey through the heart of Africa, Ethiopia. Stick around till the very end because there's so much to discover about this extraordinary nation that might just leave you awe-inspired. Ethiopia is situated in the Horn of Africa, bordered by Eritrea, Somalia, Kenya, South Sudan and Sudan. It has a strategic location along the Red Sea and Gulf of Aden. It has diverse terrain, including cool central highlands, the Great Rift Valley, and lowlands in the east and south. There are rugged mountains, flat-topped plateaus, and deep gorges. The climate varies from tropical monsoon in the south to more temperate in the highland regions. Overall, the climate is generally hot and dry, but more moderate at higher altitudes. Ethiopia contains several ecosystems, including Afro-montane forests, savannas, and deserts. This contributes to diverse wildlife habitats with many endemic species. Protected areas include the Simeon Mountains National Park. Major rivers like the Blue Nile originate in the Ethiopian highlands. Ethiopia relies heavily on hydropower, but also faces challenges from recurrent droughts and famine. Ethiopia is one of the oldest inhabited places in the world, with archaeological evidence of human habitation dating back over three million years. In the first millennium BCE, ancient kingdoms like Dimt and Aksum rose to power in the northern Ethiopian highlands. These kingdoms developed monumental architecture and were involved in trade with Egypt, Arabia, Persia and the Byzantine Empire. Aksum was one of the great civilizations of the ancient world. Christianity became the established church in Ethiopia in the 4th century CE under King Izana of Aksum. The Ethiopian Orthodox Church became a central part of Ethiopian culture and identity. Unique ecclesiastical art and architecture developed, including rock-hewn churches. Monasticism also became important. By the 7th century, the Patriarchate of Alexandria recognized the Ethiopian Orthodox Church as one of the original Christian churches. The Zagwe dynasty ruled over much of Ethiopia during the Middle Ages after Aksum's decline. Their capital was at Adafa, near Lalibela, known for its rock-hewn churches. The Solomonic dynasty claimed descent from King Solomon and the king of Shebu. They came to power in 1270 under Yekuno Amlak, restoring the Aksumite line. Solomonic emperors ruled Ethiopia for most of the medieval period until 1974, providing a sense of continuity. Between the 16th and 19th centuries, Ethiopia was divided among regional kingdoms. The country contended with foreign threats from the Ottomans, Egyptians and Italians. Notable emperors like Zara Yaqob, Amdasion I, Manilik II, helped unify Ethiopia during this period through military campaigns and diplomacy. The country remained independent while much of Africa was colonized. In 1936, Ethiopia was occupied by Italy during World War II until its liberation by British forces in 1941. After a period of power struggles, a Marxist military regime known as the Derg ruled Ethiopia from 1974-1991 when rebel forces overthrew it. Eritrea formally seceded from Ethiopia in 1993. In 1994, Ethiopia adopted a constitution establishing the Federal Democratic Republic under President Meles Zenawi. Ethiopia is home to a diverse set of ethnic and linguistic groups with over 80 distinct ethnic groups recognized by the government. Some of the largest ethnic groups include the Oromo, Amhara, Somali and Tigrayans. Many groups have their languages, with over 80 native languages spoken across the country. However, Amharic is recognized as the official working language. English is also widely taught in schools and used in business settings. Religion plays a major role in Ethiopian culture and society. 
approximately 44% of Ethiopians are Orthodox Christians, belonging to the ancient Ethiopian Orthodox Tewahedo Church. 34% are Muslim, predominantly Sunni. Smaller religious groups include Protestants, Catholics and practitioners of indigenous faiths. The Ethiopian constitution provides for freedom of religion and separation of church and state, though religious groups must register with the government. Ethiopia has been one of the fastest growing economies in Africa, with steady GDP growth over the past decade. The World Bank estimates its GDP is around $111 billion in 2023, a steep increase from $43 billion in 2012. However, it remains one of the poorest countries on the continent, with a large rural population dependent on subsistence agriculture. The economy faces challenges including high inflation, foreign exchange shortages and an inadequate transportation network. Agriculture accounts for nearly 40% of GDP and employs approximately 80% of the population. Major agricultural products include coffee, grains, oil seeds, cattle and sheep. The industrial sector is small but growing, producing goods like cement, textiles, food processing and beverages. Services and trade make up an increasing share of GDP. Ethiopia's main export partners are Somalia, Switzerland, China, Saudi Arabia and the US. Imports come from China, Saudi Arabia, India, the US and Turkey. Key exports are coffee, oil seeds, livestock, gold, pulses and flower cuttings. Ethiopia has a large hydropower potential and plans to become a major electricity exporter. The government has privatized state enterprises in recent years and simplified investment laws to attract foreign investment. Large public infrastructure projects, expansion of manufacturing exports and growth in tourism and financial services are seen as key drivers of future growth. Strategically located in the Horn of Africa and bordering six countries, Ethiopia plays a vital role in regional politics and security issues. As a major power in East Africa, with a large population, economy and military, Ethiopia is involved in regional organizations like the African Union and the Intergovernmental Authority on Development. Historically aligned with the US, Ethiopia now balances partnerships with global powers like China, along with Turkey, Saudi Arabia and Russia through massive investments and infrastructure loans. However, Ethiopia still struggles with unrest, ethnic tensions, insurgencies and displaced people. As one of the world's fastest growing economies, Ethiopia hopes to transition from poverty and agricultural dependence to become a manufacturing hub through industrial parks and economic development. Ethiopia has a diverse cultural heritage that derives from both ancient traditions and influences from different ethnic groups across the country. Ethiopian culture is known for its hospitality, vibrant traditions and distinctive art forms. Its traditions are heavily influenced by the Ethiopian Orthodox Church. Important rituals include the coffee ceremony, a daily tradition involving the roasting, brewing and enjoying of coffee. Meskel is an annual religious holiday that commemorates the discovery of the True Cross. Fasting periods followed by elaborate feasts are also an important Orthodox tradition. Cultural dress includes the Habisha Kemis and Netala shawls. Notable examples of Ethiopian art and architecture include the rock-hewn churches of La Libella, a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Colorful Timket festivals feature singing, dancing and parades during the Epiphany celebrations. Ethiopian jazz fuses African rhythms with American jazz to create a unique musical style. Traditional dance and poetry are also important cultural art forms, often with spiritual roots.
Ethiopian cuisine is known for its flavorful spices, stews, and vegetarian dishes served on injera, a sourdough flatbread. Here are some iconic foods that provide a taste of Ethiopian flavors. Sauteed meat or vegetables seasoned with herbs and spices. Tibs is one of the most popular dishes. It's made with beef, lamb or chicken cooked with onions, garlic, ginger, herbs and chilies. Doro Wat, a signature chicken stew made with chicken drumsticks or thighs cooked in a hot Berber sauce with onions, garlic, ginger and spices. The intense red-hued stew is served during holidays and special occasions. Kik Alicha, a mild yellow split pea stew made with onions, garlic, ginger, turmeric and herbs. This vegetarian dish gets its yellow color from the turmeric and provides a flavorful, meatless meal. Injera, the sourdough flatbread is made from teff flour, which is a staple at every Ethiopian meal. It has a unique spongy texture and sour taste. Injera is used as an edible utensil to scoop up stews and dishes, a popular beef dish made from minced raw beef seasoned with mitmita, an Ethiopian chili powder. Kitfo is served lebleb, -leb, meaning warmed rather than cooked. If you enjoyed this video on Ethiopia, you'll love this next one.